What are we doing today, Des? Getting the fridge. Getting the fridge. Yeah. Groceries. And groceries. How riveting. We are going to Tacoma because we're gonna pick up a Snowmaster fridge. And I don't know if you know what Snowmaster fridges are, but they are just like super awesome, heavy duty, overland refrigerators slash freezer. This will allow us to put like breast milk in the truck for weeks on end. How cool is that? We all like breast milk. No, but seriously though, we've been using this cooler and it's kind of inconvenient. Your food's always getting wet with all the ice. You always have to stop. How many times do we have to stop and get ice at one time on that long overland trip? Only twice. But Too many times. But our bread got soggy. Sick of being pregnant? So sick of it. Go. Enjoy it. Go. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Go. I can't even breathe. Go. Here we go. I'm excited for this fridge. This is going to be awesome. So, like I was saying, I think I want to wire it into the the bed of the truck somewhere. Like, so come out somehow, make like a box for it to protect it from the rain. I'm trying to film this interview thing here. Yeah, you should never film and drive. We learned that the hard way in California. I'll park. There we go. If we put the refrigerator in the God, if we put the refrigerator in in the trailer. Then it will, then we'll like unhitch it and we'll leave and then we won't have like our nice cool chilled beverages or like our food and that kind of stuff with us in the truck when we're on our way. Like, it just has exploring. to be easy access is a big thing because you don't have to dig through piles of stuff. Right. A lot of guys put it in the back seat and I don't want to put mine in the back seat because we have a newborn on the way who's going to need to sit there. So we are about six minutes away from this freight like shipping yard. Uh, it's kind of weird when you when you order like big stuff like this. I don't know if you guys have had this experience, but uh, in the past, like when I got my rooftop tent and some other big parts, I had to go to these shipping yards, and it's always weird because it's like they don't expect ordinary people to come show up and like get these large items. And hopefully, uh, I, mean, I didn't bring anything with me. All I have is a tracking number and my ID. So hopefully, they uh, they let me pick it up. But this is uh, this is Tacoma. And you guys might recognize Tacoma from one of BJ Baldwin's uh, trophy truck videos where he did a bunch of donuts on this bridge here. Pretty cool stuff. But Tacoma's actually really cool looking. I mean, look at that cool building there. Parts of it are. So I don't know, something about Tacoma gives me bad vibes. It's the smell. It's called the Tacoma aroma. I'm pretty sure this is the bridge you did all those donuts on. Where do we park? Okay, so he said let's drive around the side of the parking lot, through a gate, there's a ramp parked by the ramp. Should be good. I'm going to check my surroundings before I back out. It's hot. You're hot. For every day you go through a weird trucking yard. Like this is this is their life. Their life is all about these big trucks and ramps and moving boxes. It's so interesting. Ginormous. I'm so excited. Uh, as far as I know, it comes with a cover, it comes with a bottle opener. This is a freezer slash refrigerator. So they have different options, but this one will allow us to have ice cream on the trail. <laughs> like, how cool is that gonna be? To have ice cream wherever you want. And it all runs off of uh, the vehicle's battery. So I don't know if I'm gonna do a, a dual battery system yet or how I'm gonna run this. Um, from what I've read, you can run it off of a single battery. That's totally fine. All right, guys, this is exciting stuff. We got the fridge. We're gonna do a little bit of an unboxing. Awesome. Man, I got projects on projects on projects in here. 
All right, guys, let's pop this box open. I'm super stoked. cover on it. Be gone, box! Yeah! This thing comes with a nice cover on it to keep your stainless steel scratch free, keep the dirt off. It's insulated, so that's gonna help you keep your stuff even cooler. Wow, that is super slick. Like, look at this. This is nicer than the fridge I have in my house. Oh, that's really, really nice. It's got a really nice heavy duty latches. They got some like spring to them. You can tell those aren't gonna go anywhere. That is awesome. And it really squeezes that lid down tight. That's great. Little digital board here, so you can set different temperatures. You got some pockets. I read somewhere that there was a uh, bottle opener. It runs on both DC and AC. So it just slides right out of that cover. And here's a good look at it outside of that cover. That is slick. That stainless steel. I want to put it up on my tailgate, see how it fits. That is so sick. Oh, there's so much room in there too. I'm gonna be able to keep all sorts of stuff. I wanna point out how heavy duty these hinges are too. They are, they look to be like steel, heavy duty. Like this thing is a, like a true industrial refrigerator freezer combo. It is not cheap or plastic at all. I'm super happy with this, guys. This is awesome. Ha ha ha, there's the beer opener. The most important accessory. Well, let's see. I'm not sure how I'm gonna run this thing just yet, but let's see, I could put her a cigarette lighter. I could run it in the back seat easily, or I could just plug it in. I mean, I could probably plug it in to the inverter there, but I don't know if it's gonna run 24 seven. That's stuff I still gotta figure out. Let's see what's inside this little box here. Oh, no way. I didn't even know it had this. This is sweet. There's a little solar powered remote control so you can adjust your settings. Since I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and install this uh, bottle opener. Cause that, you know, that is important. You gotta have a bottle opener. Wow. See there's a little drain there in the bottom, just in case you want to drain it. This bin comes out, there's a second bin underneath it. This is a, another bin here, the whole thing comes out it looks like, and there's a divider in the middle. Really nice, there's even LEDs on the sides. a work of art sitting here in its stainless steel skin. I'm gonna put the cover on it uh, just because that insulation is gonna help it keep things cool and it's gonna keep it safe and help protect it. So we're gonna put the, the insulation back on. It's actually a super handy thing that they've, they've included. But man, does it look good in that stainless steel. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. What do you think of that, dude? What should we put in there? Put a milk. Any milk? 
Yeah, we'll put the milk in there. And then we'll put the milk in the fridge. Nice. He's super adamant. He's like, put the milk in there. <laughs> milk. That's pretty cool. Milk. Milk. It doesn't make milk. <laughs> milk. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm stoked. That's really nice. It's gonna be perfect. And I'll still have those uh, CBI Overland bed bars, and they come about to here, so okay. it'll sit just underneath the the second tent if we have a second tent. Let me know in the comment section if you think I should figure out a way to run this fridge off the truck or if you think it should definitely go in the expedition trailer. I'm still trying to make my mind up because you know if it was in the trailer you could always throw some ice in a cooler for the truck on like a day trip but isn't that kind of the point of getting the fridge so you don't have to do that? I think it should run off the truck. If you agree with me, let me know in the comment section below. If you disagree, also let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your opinion. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really love our Snowmaster fridge. I can't wait to get it wired up. I'm gonna be wiring it up pretty soon in a future video. We got lots of really awesome content coming soon, so be sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a thumbs up, ask me any questions you want in the comment section below, and I'll go ahead and leave a, a link to the website where we got this fridge so you guys can see exactly what we got. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys taking your time out of your day to check out our channel. All right, you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.